Hi, I'm Kathy from the Delfield Quilt Company. And if you're new here, I love quilting and I love sharing the projects that I'm working on and how I made them. For this week's video, I'm going to show you how I made this modern quilt using the Drunkard's Path quilt block. If you're hesitant to try a quilt block with a curve, you're not alone. It's actually pretty easy. So there's no reason to be afraid of it. It just takes a little bit of patience and some time. And before you know it, you're going to be sewing these quilt blocks. I hope that you enjoy the video. This quilt is essentially made up of the same block, just in two different color sets. And then when you put them together, it just gives you a unique pattern. The whites and the navy combination black is always going to be going this direction. And then the rust white and navy black is always going to be going in this direction. So when you move it around for the quilt, you just get a neat combination. And the fabric that you need to create this quilt, which is a finished size of about 60 inches by 60 inches, is two and a half yards of the navy solid, about three quarter yards of the rust solid, and then for your off-white, about four yards. For the binding, you need about a half yard and the backing about four yards. To make this quilt, you're also going to need a template, and I do have one available on our website. This template will create a finished six inch drunkard's path block. So make sure you visit our website to get this free template. When you print out your templates, it may be helpful if you have some cardstock to print on that. And then you're gonna to wanna to cut your templates out. So I've already cut all of my fabric pieces, but essentially what I did is I layered about two pieces together and then I just pinned the template over and I just used a fabric friendly pencil to trace around that. You just want to be really careful that when you're cutting these pieces that you get as exact to the template as you can. Otherwise it'll make your curves a little bit off. So drunkard path blocks can be pretty intimidating because we're sewing on the curve and we normally don't sew on the curve when we're sewing our quilt blocks together. They're actually pretty easy though as long as you take the time to prep them. So basically for these blocks our white quarter circle is going to always have a navy piece sewn to it. And then our rust quarter circle will always have a white piece sewn with it, and the navy will always have a white piece sewn with it as well. And to get these pieces prepped, we essentially just need a lot of pins. The longer your pins, the better. And then to line these up, we're going to fold each one in half to find the middle point. And I'm just going to use my finger to do a finger press and get that crease. And then the same with this top piece. I'm going to fold that in half and then finger press just so I know where the middle is. And then take your pieces and essentially just line up that line. The curves should be together here at the top. And I'm going to put a pin right on that center point. And it's helpful if you have long pins, not just pin it once, but push that pin through again to give it a double pin. That really helps keep this piece down. You'll find as we pin this around, it starts to get a little bulky. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take the very end, line it up with the end of the quarter circle, and I'm going to put another pin in there. Again, if you can double pin that, that's great. I'm going to do the same on this end. Get that lined up. Again, double pin that if you can. And then we just need to carefully pin around the rest of the curves. Your bottom piece here is going to stay flat basically. And we're just going to move this top piece and line it up to those edges. And I'm probably going to pin about every three-fourths inch. And you shouldn't need to stretch this. It'll just naturally go around that circle. And we're just going to keep going around that whole quarter circle. I think you'll find that once you're ready to sew this, it sews pretty quickly. It's just the pinning and the cutting out of the and the cutting out of the pieces it takes a little bit of time. It's definitely not one of those quilts you could get done in one day. Well, maybe you could, but probably wouldn't get much sleep. Okay, so I've got that all pinned up. You can see how the double pinning just helps keep that down a little bit more. I got a couple other here ready to go as well. And you can see here that I've got the whites with the navies and the reds quarter circles and then the navy with the white quarter circles. So now I'm going to go to the sewing machine and just show you how I stitch this together. Sewing this together is pretty easy. If you have a quarter inch foot, that's great to use. 
You also want to start with a leader piece. The leader piece is just going to help me get my black started. So you're going to sew a quarter inch all the way around this. And I'm just going to go nice and slow. There's really no other special technique to this. It's just making sure I'm taking my time and taking the pins out as I sew. And it should look like this when you have that sewn together. Okay, so I've got a few of these blocks sewn together, so I'm just gonna show you how I press them. So when pressing these, I like to press towards the dark fabric. So I'm just gonna do that on all these blocks. And really I find this process to be the most rewarding. After spending all that time pinning these together, it's so neat to see this come out because then it just looks like a really nice quarter circle. So on this one, I want to press towards the dark. So I'm just going to flip this over and then just press it this way. I think you'll find that these press super easy. And I'm just going to repeat that process with the rest of the blocks. Just, and then to sew these together, you're just going to want to line up a similar quarter circle with its partner. And you want to make sure that you line up the seams of the top of the circle as best you can. I'm just going to pin that in place. And you just repeat that with the other pieces. Okay, and then once you have your pieces sewn together, we're going to want to press the seams so that they're going to nest when we sew these two together. Make sure your seams are nest and then just pin it together. You'll find that when you're sewing over this, it's a lot of fabric right here. Just take your time and go slow and it should turn out just fine. So that's pretty much it. These drunkard pass are just pretty easy. Just make sure you use a lot of pins and just, just take your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit us at DelfieldQuoteCo.com. Have a great day.